What's up guys, my name is Coach Jeremy and in this video I'm going to share a story about how I almost died this close. This video is sponsored by Head & Shoulders. I've teamed up with them to share my headstrong story about how I developed confidence to push through challenges and adversity off the ice and I thought this would be a pretty good story to share with you. I don't think I've ever told anyone uh, online at least about it. So here we go. I don't usually share personal stuff like this just because I don't know if anyone really cares. But I thought in this situation, you know, other people could be going through a tough time in their life and maybe hearing something, you know, really personal like this, it could help other people out there. So that's, uh, that's what I'm hoping from this. So it all started uh, back in my hometown, Beaverton, Ontario, very small town, very quiet, sleepy place. Not a lot really goes on there. Uh, I think I was about 17 years old and I wanted to make a junior hockey team. I was an, an okay hockey player, uh, that's when I started getting a little bit better. And I thought that if I would ride my bike instead of driving my car, I could just uh, you know, get more exercise, train a little bit more, be in better shape for uh, some tryouts coming up. I think I was going to try out for like a junior C hockey team, nothing special, but I, I just wanted to play competitive hockey. I didn't want to give up after you know, minor hockey. It was the summertime, I was just leaving my friend's house on my bicycle and basically don't remember anything after that. Um, I was hit by a pickup truck, uh, I was left on the road, uh, the guy took off and the neighbors or the, the people across from my friend's place uh, found me basically just bleeding out on the road. Uh, I was unresponsive, I don't remember any of this. Uh, ambulance came, I do remember being in the ambulance and I just like I would, I said, I, I remember waking up, like coming to for a second, saying sorry, Canadian thing, <laughs> and then nothing. And apparently I just kept saying sorry the whole ride. Uh, so I got taken to a hospital, um, but they didn't have the right, uh, I guess, setup to take care of me. So I had to get taken to the Toronto hospital. And I was there for two weeks. And during this two week time, uh, I get, it was pretty scary. The injuries, my head was uh, split open. So I was bleeding out of my head and my shoulder was broken in three places. So I have two bolts in my shoulder and then I have a big scar on the back of my head. A lot of stuff I couldn't remember. My dad came and visited, I couldn't remember his name. Um, there was words that I couldn't say, it was, it was really strange. I would try to say it, but the words just wouldn't come out. So the doctor would say, what is this? And he'd hold up a watch and I'd say, it's a pen. And I knew it was a watch, but I, I just couldn't say it. So it was a scary time for me. Uh, and the doctor said that I might not ever be normal again and definitely said no more hockey, no contact hockey at least. So my world was, you know, kind of, it could change forever. And pretty much I remember, the one thing I do remember from the, that two weeks uh, time when I was in the hospital is I wasn't mad, I wasn't like upset. I just thought, okay, that happened and let's, let's do the best we can, that's it. I guess I, I just made the choice, you know, that I'm gonna do my best, I'm gonna do everything in my power because I can only control myself. You can always make a choice, you can always try. It happened in the summertime, I was enrolled in college and I was told maybe take a semester off just so I can recover and I didn't want that. I wanted the challenge, I wanted to push myself and I wanted to see if I could uh, go and, and get good grades in college because I knew that almost if I took a step back then it's, it's kind of accepting that I can't do it. So I, I went to college and I ended up on the Dean's List that year. It took a lot of work because my organization and my scheduling was not what it used to be, but I, I pushed through and I had help. Obviously I couldn't play competitive hockey anymore, but I just worked on my mobility, worked on gaining back strength. I drank my milk, to, you know, strong bones. And with the doctor's clearance, I was given uh, the clearance to play hockey again. So intramural, not competitive, but I, you know, I love the game and I always wanted to be involved in hockey in some way. Other people might tell you that you can't do something or you'll never be able to do something, but I wasn't gonna accept that until I at least gave it my all, until I tried my best. If I tried and tried and tried and found out for myself that you know maybe I can't do that anymore, then I would accept it. Um, and I think that really helped me just get back and, and as far as I can tell, I'm, I'm a normal person now after the accident. When things aren't going your way, sometimes you have to be headstrong. And for me, being headstrong, it just means having that confidence to push through challenges and adversity and never giving up on what you want. And you have to do that even during moments of doubt. And that could be doubt from yourself or doubt from other people. You might get told that you can't do something. You might feel that you can't do something. But if it's what you really want, you have to at least try. And I think that's the biggest thing. 
Um, for me, that happened during a uh, really bad car accident, I guess also when I'm just uploading a video. Life isn't perfect. You're gonna have challenges that's both on the ice and off the ice. And of course, some challenges are gonna be bigger than others, but it's all how you deal with those. So how I dealt with it is just having a, a never give up mindset and you know, just accepting things, not, not holding things, not feeling sorry for myself and not holding uh, anger towards someone else. Let me know if you ever had a big challenge in the comments and how you overcame that because, you know, just as I think my story might help you guys, I think your stories could help me and the other people in the comments as well. So let me know in the comments. I'll read through those and uh, thanks a lot for sharing your stories with me. That's it for the video. Thanks a lot for watching and also big thanks to Head & Shoulders for sponsoring this video. Head & Shoulders helps prevent dandruff, which helps you look your best, feel your best, and take on any challenge with a little extra confidence. That's it. See you guys in the next video.